Okay, today we have a fun one. This West Side Model Company four truck Shea. I don't think it ever existed, at least in, for that guy's. When I got this, when I went to test run, and it would not even move. You could hear the motor um, spinning in there, but nothing was happening. So I decided to get brave and take it apart. Uh, the set screw on the worm gear on the motor itself was loose. And it looks like I'm not the first person that tried to tighten it. It's a little chewed up. But I got it back together. And quickly found out if you don't put any weight on this thing, it don't work very well. It's a wobbly duck still. We can go forward and see what it does. All the wheels and all the axles on this thing drive. From the gearbox that's directly underneath those weights I set on the tender. That's a lot of torque for all those axles. See if I can make it through the switch without derailing. Hey, it did. Amazing. Um, before I put the weight on the tender, it would not do that. I actually had about two ounces on here a little bit ago and it ran way better. There goes the wobbly duck. The way this thing's sitting is the motor is... Where's my finger? Here. The motor is here. Gear here. To a shaft that goes straight down into that back truck but they're like a universal there's a slot up from the truck and there's like a screwdriver blade that goes down into it and all the torque for all the axles rides right on that one piece but with the weight on it it seems to do okay well pretty interesting nice looking Locomotive, whoop, my hand's blocking the light. Whistle's bent a little bit, but not too bad. The headlight doesn't work, of course. Not wired up, but... We'll put it on eBay and see how much it goes for. I do like the, the all the axle drive. That's pretty damn cool, though. Just a lot of torque in one spot, though. Alright, thanks for watching.